Hi guys, I'm here to do a collective haul and it will be from Steve Madden, Ross, Zara and a few more miscellaneous items that I picked up while on vacation. So, the first piece that I'd like to show to you, they are by Etienne Onier and I will the have the name of the designer on the screen so you can know exactly which design I'm referring to and this I purchased in Ross yesterday and it is this pair of flats right here. At the bottom there is the detail, at the bottom it has the rope as well as rubber so you'll have a nice grip and the upper portion is made from leather which I absolutely like about that and then um, at the front you have this bamboo design and it reminds me of uh, Gucci, they often use this on their bags and shoes as well on their flats so the front portion reminds me of a Gucci flat. And this I purchased at Ross and I have it in a size six and a half. And this is six and a half medium. So it's a little roomy on my foot because I have very slender feet. And this I paid $22.99 for it. It is very comfortable. I haven't worn it as yet, but I wore it around the store and also around the house. And it feels pretty comfortable. It would look nice with a dress, say a shipped dress um, during the summertime. So it would look very nice. And so absolutely love this find. And the next items that I'd like to show to you, they are from Steve Madden and them up on sale. So I went into the Steve Madden store on Monday and I got these. So the first pair is um, called Greta and I have them in the hot pink and I have it in 6.5 or 6.5. And these I wore last night and they are very comfortable because I did do some walking and my feet were perfect and so um, these are the shoes here so they have a very nice um, platform at the front and then they also have a very chunky heel and the heel and the platform they're almost on the same level so it's as if you're wearing a pair of um, wedge which I absolutely love as well and these they have the ankle strap here which is good to secure the shoe on your foot. So I love this. And the only thing I don't like about it is that it's made from a suede material or it's made from a leather material but it has a suede feel to it. And um, this will dirty easily. But if you have the erasers that you use to clean your Timberland boots, then you could definitely go ahead and clean your shoes with them and these I think they were either 22 something or 19.99 I'm not sure the exact pricing but I will look at my receipts and I'll leave all the uh, information in the box below and these I picked up in the store so I am not sure if um, they still have them and I got them on sale because they were having a sale at the time that I went there the next pair that I picked up is this one and it is called Why Not and I have it in the natural multi and I have it in a size 7 and it's just a pair of wedge which is so nice. So the wedge has the cork detail in, then at the front it's made from leather so it's in a new leather color, then at the back it's in the gold color material. And then on the inside, it's made from the same material as well. And um, I love these. So I haven't worn these as yet, but they are pretty comfortable. So if you are accustomed to wearing wedges, then you know that wedges are super comfortable. They're also stable because they're the, comfortable and it will seem as if you're walking on a flat surface. So these are the other ones that I picked up from Steve Madden as well. And the final shoes that I got at Steve Madden, they are the Deja Vu's and I have them in the blush color and also have them in a size 7. And so these I've been wanting them for a long time and as we know they are very popular. They are all over YouTube and they are a staple in your wardrobe. And so I got these and I absolutely love them. Um, they are comfortable and they are made from leather. Then they have the platform at the front here which is a built-in platform and then heel and so it's pretty comfortable to walk in and these I paid I think $128 for them 
so these are the day jobs. And the next things that I picked up are, uh, I went to uh, CVS as well as Walgreen, and this is the olive oil um, edge control, and I absolutely love this. I am using it right now on my edges, and I do prefer this over the Eco Salad Gel because this leaves my hair moisturized. The Eco Salad Gel it dries out my hair and leaves my hair flaky. And so far, I have not been having any problems with this, so I think I will start using this instead of the Eco Styler Gel. And the next thing that I picked up is a face moisturizer and it's from Simple. I've never used this before but I saw it in CVS and wanted to try it because it said it's for, it's for sensitive skin and it replenishes with rich moisture and it has all these vitamins in it and it lasts for about 12 hours and it gives your skin moisture. And so I haven't had a problem with it liking it so far. We'll see if I need to purchase the entire set and so I'll let you guys know. And the next item is from Forever 21. And it's a top. And it's in an animal print and also floral. And this top I love because of the colors. I absolutely love colors. Anything with colors I like. So the main color is purple and black. Then you have all these multicolors at the end of it. So I'm planning on wearing this with a turquoise pair of denim and um, some nude uh, shoes, maybe those nude wedges. And this is a button down with a collar and it's also see-through. But I think you can get away by just wearing a black bra under it and you will be good. So this I have it in a size small and I paid $22.80 for it. And I usually don't purchase things in Forever 21 that expensive. But this one I loved and I thought I would just purchase it. And the next item that I have is a makeup product and this is from e.l.f. and I purchased this in Ross and I paid $4.49 for it. And the main reason why I picked this up is for primer. So I've heard lots of about the e.l.f. eye primer and I wanted to try it out for myself and so I picked up this palette. So it has six eyeshadows, one primer, one eyeliner as well as eyeshadow applicator. And the colors are pretty neutral and so I love that because I like to do neutral looks and this is it so you have your six eyeshadows the primer here the eyeliner and then the applicator and then you have a mirror here and you also have instructions here as to how to apply the product and this I purchased here. And the final piece that I have is a bag and it is from Zara and you guys may have seen this or you would have seen this too. It's very popular. So I was pretty indecisive about this bag because I wanted to wait until Zara had their parent sale or end of season sale but uh, they are having their end of season sale in Japan but I have not seen these on sale they are still selling them for full price so they are 9,900 yen in Japan but here in the US they are 79.90 which is way cheaper if I do the conversion to US and so I thought I would just wait and purchase it here so yesterday I went to the Grove and I went to Zara and I picked it up I wanted the brown originally because that's the color that I liked but then I was looking at all the bags that I have and I have quite a few uh, brown bags and not that many black bags and so I thought I would pick it up in the black and so it's very huge and I like huge bags as you guys may know so it has the handles here at the top then it has a longer strap so you can carry it over your shoulder and then on the inside you have um, lots of room and pockets so you have two pockets you have another one on here and then you have this portion where you could use it to um, close your bag like this just to give you a little more privacy and not to expose the things that you have in your bag and then here there's also a uh, pocket as well inside it has this nice material which I absolutely love in this um, it looks as if it's a recycle um, fabric and so yeah this so is the it. final item that i have is a watch and it is similar to the michael kors watch but only thing is that it's way way cheaper or um than the michael kors watch sorry i wanted the michael kors watch but it's a little pricey and so i think this will do for now 
I will purchase the Michael Kors watch because I've seen quite a few of them that I like. Um, this one is from New York and Company. So it's basically the same thing as the Michael Kors watch. But as I said before, it's cheaper. And so this one I paid uh, $26.95 for it. Didn't get it on sale um, when they were having their sale recently. But I still have it. And it is cheaper than the Michael Kors one. And it's a little arm because I have a very tiny wrist. So it slides here. So this is where it fits. So I'll try to take it and get them to remove uh, one of another link. So it came with another link and I did remove it. But I'll definitely go ahead and have them remove another link again. Because I'd like it for it to fit somewhere here just as how my swatch fits. So that when I have my bracelets. And so yeah, those were the products or those were the items that I picked up. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite. Thumbs up if you like if you liked this haul, and I am enjoying my vacation so far. And thank you so much for all the comments that you left on my YouTube video. It's a little difficult for me to do vlogs because some of the places uh, cameras inside, but I will definitely go ahead and do vlogs when I can, or I'll just wait until I get back to Japan. Then I will do the vlogs for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.